Hi, I'm Cindy Seitz Krug, instructor on iQuilt.com. In my class, I'll teach you all kinds of great tips for machine quilting. Here's a tip about stippling, one of my favorite background fillers. Stippling is a versatile background filler that can be used in many ways, from micro stippling to a large scale. One reason that many quilters love it is that it's easy to do without marking. Let me start by drawing it. Here are the two ways that quilters commonly make mistakes with stippling. Our brains tend to think up and down or left, right, and so this is what I see a lot with my beginning quilters. They, they want to do this or go this way, and it shouldn't be it shouldn't look like that. So the way that I stipple that has worked for me and my brain is that I start, let's pretend we have a block here. Start somewhere and what I do is make a large area and go in and fill it in. And be sure to keep those lines curvy, making a large area and filling it in. Fill in that area. Large area, fill it in. So that's how I draw it. And let me show you how it's done on the sewing machine. I've quilted a feathered heart here. And I need my rubber fingertips to help me grip it easily. Making that large area and filling it in. And that's how I stipple. And on this sample, you can see that stippling around a feather really makes it look beautiful. And you'll notice on my practice piece here, a line of echo quilting. Let me show you. The line of echo quilting on the outside of the heart really makes the feather stand out and gives me a stopping place for my stippling. If you can see the inside of the heart, I haven't added that row of echo quilting and it just, you lose the feather. So that's an extra little tip is add a row of echo quilting to your feathers and your other quilted motifs to really make them stand out more. Thanks for joining me for this tip. Check out my class, Successful Machine Quilting, Basics and Beyond, for more machine quilting instruction.